On the weekend, I managed to sort the rest of the ladies' doilies that I had come across a, a lovely lady that had lots of doilies and was kind of a bit overwhelmed by them and I was sorting them and buying them. Anyway, I think I might have got to the end of the embroidered one. She's got a lot more stuff. Like, I wonder if I should be like working out what else she's got um, that we could all love. But these are all the little ones, uh, like sandwich trays and sandwich tray cloths, sorry, and white work kind of lacy ones. I'm kind of particular about which ones of those I like. I put those in needle books and also in um, kind of my Fleur Woods inspired kind of embroidery patchwork, I guess, the things that I've been working on. So lots of lovely things here. There's a couple that were kind of interesting to me. This one, somebody's kind of crocheted just a pretty piece of fabric. So I will just probably use that pretty piece of fabric rather than with the edges on it. I quite like this one. Oh, some strawberries in the way. I like this one here because it's got an emu on it. And there's another one. I mean, there's some really lovely ones. Let me find the other one I wanted to show you. Hmm. I cannot. It'll be here. I'll see it as soon as I turn off this video. Oh, here. This one's got a kookaburra on it with some wattle, which I think is adorable. So lots of lovely things here and you know, now they're getting, copying some UV v rays, but not a lot because it's kind of quite overcast today. But any UV will help fade any um, remaining stains after soaking, etc. So they're all looking pretty lovely and I cannot wait. I actually quite enjoy ironing this kind of a thing because I get to admire them all as I do it. And while I'm here... Does anybody know what this kind of work is called? It's linen, I mean, it's obviously drawn thread work, but I really love these bits and I hardly ever come across them. So if there's a specific name for this type of work, can you drop me a message? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. It's Monday now. I've popped into the shop. I'm still wearing the same dress because I had to take one of my kids to an emergency medical appointment this morning and I pulled it on in a hurry. He's okay. I've picked up another one from school already, taken him home. I've dealt with the post office who has incorrectly labeled a whole heap of parcels and including one of our really lovely customers who's in New Zealand. Her parcel is currently residing in San Francisco. So sometimes your morning doesn't go that well. Anyway, I'm going to pop I'm going to turn you around and what am I going to doing? Oh, show you why I've come into the shop. I've only got 45 minutes that I can do work in here because Lucy's using the shop for some private lessons this afternoon and then she teaches a kids class in here. But I wanted to just kind of show you a bit about why we can't just churn out parcels in a big hurry. Not parcels. We try and do that in a big hurry. Um, bundles, quilt bundles. Okay, so all through last week, I was cutting fabric for a gosling quilt bundle, including some beautiful vintage, this one and this one are vintage, actually vintage gingham, and this one's vintage as well. So all of those, I still have to fold all of these. So most of this quilt pack is in fat sixteenths to give you a massive variety of fabrics so you can achieve something like this. I also have um, lots of beautiful doilies that I think would be lovely in this quilt or not just, you know, toaster covers, all the things that are here and ironed and kind of separated like into kind of coordinating sets so that we can put them with the bundles. And this will be our 
I'm not really even sure. I've got Liberty on order and I'm hoping that that's going to come soon so that I can... So that I can um, get them, get the Liberty online at the same time as the bundle. So it'll be good. I'm just going to show you a little bit around the shop. I do tours often on my Instagram, but I don't know that I've really, I have shown you a little bit around. Hold on. I'm going to try and go slowly and carefully. So. In this cupboard down here, that is all vintage special bits and pieces that we put into bundles and fabric pulls and all the things. And I am slowly cutting up some of that for, I'm doing a quilt market in July in Sydney. It's our gingham cupboard, but all our gingham isn't even on there because we've got so much of it. Um, that's my personal collection of like little Japanese wooden salt and pepper shakers and some beautiful sewing boxes. We do also sell sewing boxes, but I just really like how those ones go together. That's a beautiful hexy, scrappy, just hexy quilt that I have made. That is a vintage one that I purchased. I actually wanted Lucy to make me a skirt out of it, but it arrived and it's so beautiful that I couldn't cut it up. She always says to me, you'd get more joy out of it wearing it, but I'm not really sure she's right there. Okay. So we have our warm colours over here. We are a bit short on space at the moment, so watch this space for what we're going to do on that. But a little selection of some lovely vintage things that we sell in the store. That little quilt down there with the sun and the house on it, that's my chicken scratch quilt, which was chicken stitch quilt, sorry, which was the first quilt I designed. It's kind of suitable for a toddler or a baby, really. A little bit of EPP on the wall. It's the front of the shop. At the moment, we've got a little couch in there, some more sewing baskets for sale. People always wanting to buy this geranium, which just keeps on flowering. I don't know what's going on. With it, I was thinking I should top it up with some fertilizer and then I was like, mm, maybe that will affect it adversely. I've got one of the happy clappy cushions and all the quilt top behind that that I haven't quilted. That quilt on this old ironing board is, that is the vintage, what is it? Vintage geese quilt. Just love those blocks in there with all that hand quilting. Other bits and pieces that we have for sale. Have got most of my patterns here. I've got a little Heather Ross section going at the moment. That's the petit pan that we still have. There is a little bit more. I'm not even sure where it is. But watch that wash this space for that as well bit messy over there. Some Liberty, got more Liberty that should be arriving any day, as I just said. Some solids and some low volumes with a little bit of colour. Lovely rifle paper here, spots. These fabrics, Lucy hates this shelf and it's obviously looking not great at the moment, but um, they have just been there because so many people have been into the shop asking for help curating um, a Gosling quilt pool. And they're some of the ones that I would recommend putting in there at the moment that we have in store at the moment. And lots of those are going into those quilt kits. Too many blues to fit on the shelf. So greens and blues, low volumes, blacks, aquas, little section of purple down here. Needle minders, zipper charms, gosling quilt, some EPP notions quilts on the wall, there's that bundle, things under the shelf that have been knocked over. We had lots of kids in on the weekend. It was really lovely actually. And these are some of the new fabrics that have come into store just in front here. Got some bundles on the table, threads, little fabric lollies, perfect. Um, it needs a new thing, perfect. 
because they have no calories in them. So like we can eat all the lollies or have all the lollies we want. So that's the shop at the moment. This is the lace that I tea dyed. So look how pretty that has come up. It was always a pretty lace. It just didn't look like a great color. Now it's not showing up. You can see it a little bit here. It's a little bit um, mottled and I love that because it kind of feels aged. This will be just perfect lace. Sorry, I've wound it onto a card to be like a pocket in a needle book. And I don't know, I'm really happy with it. This is what I folded. There's the rest of it over there. So I am going to now collate that into bundles. And I just thought I'd also show you um, I went on Saturday morning at 6.30 to my very first estate sale. I came across it on Facebook Marketplace. I didn't know, like I turned up, it looked like an empty house, but then I saw this lady coming out with mountains of like textiles. So I was like, it was meant to open at 6.30, but she'd been in early. This lace came from there. Is that not just divine? Couple of these rolls, this beautiful vintage trim came from there and also some doilies um these ones were they were all made by the lady that was having the estate sale mum estate sales mum and oh, and this this is actually my favorite look at this little vintage pin cushion is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen anyway um I made her cry because she was saying that, I didn't mean to make her cry. She was saying that she was having trouble letting these things go. She had some beautiful, beautiful tablecloths that I just didn't want to um, cut up with that connection to the original maker. And I said, you know, these will be used in quilts and in beautiful needle books and people will admire your mum's work. And then she got all teary and I felt awful about that, but I do want people to know that we're going to treasure these bits and pieces that we are using as makers today. So some really beautiful little doilies. They're still, they're quite fine and just lovely. And some of the tablecloths that I didn't want to take had like first place ribbons from the Newcastle show on them, which was just lovely. These are also, while oh, we're here, a couple of tablecloths I have that, um, this one in particular, I might offer because it would be just, it's a beautiful slubby linen and lovely crochet edge on it. It's quite a big rose and what I thought would it be lovely to be like this one in my quilt. So, I don't know, I'm working as hard as I can to get all of these things sorted. All the vintage textiles, I love playing with it, but gee, it takes a long time. Hi, uh, I just wanted to show you some of the, you will have, if you follow me on Instagram as well, you might've seen a reel that I did. I went to an estate sale first thing Saturday morning and I talked about it before. In one of the corners of one of the rooms was this little bag and it was full of something. So I've washed it and um, ironed it. And it does have that little rip there, but it's so cute. So there will have been um, a press stud that went there. That's gone. But there were lots of um, hankies. And I've been collecting hankies from an online distasher as well, because I think they're fantastic. Some of the edges that you get in them. So this one was from that um, little bag that I just showed you. And like beautiful blue Irish linen. This one had an Irish linen sticker on it still. Never used. Um, they can make the best kind of features in needlebooks. Sorry, I'm showing you the back of it. I've got quite a few of these ones. I picked them off, off up off that D stash account. I love the little handkerchief edging and the little red stitch and the flowers. So pretty. The colors are always great because they're vintage colors. And I want to just show you 
course I can't find it. Is it that one? Look at some of those edgings. They're just divine. They're not, they're generally kind of inexpensive. I paid very little. I don't even know what I paid for this because I just had, like she just said, how about this? And I said, good. Um, and that included that eider down. Just excuse me for a second because my husband's calling me. Sorry about that. Um, and the other thing that I picked up from an online D stash was these beautiful green napkins. Just put one down. I have just one in my hand. It's got a lovely fine crochet edge on it. The green is like the vintage colors. They do so well. It's just perfect. So this will be good. And I was just going to show you my needle book about that's the kind of thing you can do with it. Hold on. There's another call. Very popular today. Um, sorry, what I was showing you was, this is actually, I think that might've been from a tray cloth. And maybe I don't even have one in here. Oh. It's this kind of edge here that you get out of a, a hanky can be really lovely in these kind of needle books if you're lacking to make them yourself so if you're looking for vintage textiles pick up hankies pick up um serviettes and placemats look for the vintage colors they're so good and i might leave this video here oh i hope everybody's getting some stitching time I've got, we've got one, my eldest son is down with COVID as of today. He, um, I picked him up from school and then he did a test and he's not well. And Otto has hurt his arm and now needs an MRI. He just came off his scooter and, but it's been sore for over a week and a half. So now he needs an MRI to check on his, if you've ever had a kid that like kind of is clumsy, I've had four. Um, they've got a little bone in here called the scaphoid, which can cause a lot of pain and he's had an x-ray on it. It didn't look broken, but now they want to see what's going on because he's still in a lot of pain with it. So he can't play soccer and can't swim and he can't play his violin. He's probably pretty happy about that. Um, can't write. He's using computers at school and so we're doing that and then... My middle son is just enjoying goblin mode and my daughter has just really turned on the fun times. Um, I think she's back at uni and that's all kind of, you know, changes, whatever. Probably don't need an update on my children. My husband and I are just coping. No, my husband and I have been married 25 years tomorrow. So I've been married for longer than I haven't been married. That just astounds me um it seems equally like have gone to have gone very fast and 25 years has gone very slowly a bit like raising children really where the days are short no the, sh the years are short but the days are long anyway look 25 years of marriage I'm feeling a bit crappy and I'm about to test myself for COVID actually, but I'm also on a medication that makes me feel crappy at the moment in the hopes of making me feel well. So there we are. There's a little update on where I'm up to, what life's going on. Um, I'm just kind of focusing on the vintage textiles. I have got, I got my Gosling quilt bundles together, but I am waiting for the Liberty that's due shortly, I think. I don't know. They'll come up, up online soonish, I guess. Happy stitching. Hope you're going well. Hope you're having luck finding vintage textiles if that's what you're trying to do. Um, ah. Oh. No, I just caught out of the corner of my eye. It's all finished. Is it not so beautiful? So I've been thinking about it. I think I might back my gosling in it. 
I've got a couple of fabrics coming in shortly that might also be beautiful. So I might wait and see what they're like, but um, was it worth three hours of unpicking? I think so. It's pretty special. Okay. See you later.